Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting functional equation from International Math Olympiad, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is, let z be the set of integers and determine this function f from z to z, such that for all integers a and b, we have f of 2a plus 2 times f of b. That is equal to f of f of a plus b. Since this is a functional equation, maybe the good way to start is to plug it in some easy numbers. So case number one, I'll assume this a is equal to zero. Mostly for the trivial solution. Okay, then let's plug it in zero to the a, right? Then we should have f of now zero plus two times f of b. This should be equal to f of f of now b. I'll be calling this equation as the star because this will be the important condition for our solution development, right? Okay, so in this case, now we can consider if your f of b, if f of b is equal to zero, then we will get a trivial solution. Now we can check then your f of now, okay, zero. f of zero plus now two times zero. This is just going to be now f of now zero. Okay, so that's why now from this, we need to prove that your f of x has to be a linear function. In order for us to say your f of x is a linear function, then we need to show f, say, f of n plus one minus f of n, this needs to be a constant. And this will be what we'll be working on from now, right? So I'll be talking about two cases, case number one. Okay, say a is equal to zero. And then your b is equal to n plus one. Then I'll think about second case. I'll increase the value of the a by one. So I'll consider this a is equal to one. Then the value of the b should decrease by one then, right? So that's why b has to be n plus one minus one, which is equal to n. Okay, then let's talk about these two cases. Case number one, if you plug in those values of a and b to the equation, then we have f of now zero. Okay, that plus two times f of n plus one. This has to be just equal to f of f of n plus 1. And also for our case number 2, plug in those values of a and b to the equation, then we'll have f of now 2 times 1, that is just a 2, plus 2 times f of just the n. Okay, this needs to be just equal to, same right hand side, f of f of n plus 1. Since both of these two equations, the right hand side is the same as f of f of n plus 1. So that means the left hand side of these two equations should be the same too. So we can say your f of 0 plus 2 times f of n plus 1. This should be equal to the left hand side of the second equation, which is f of 2 plus 2 times f of n. Okay, then let's move around the terms, right? So if you move around the terms, then this has to be the same thing as two times f of n plus one. Okay, that minus two times f of n. This should be now equal to f of two minus f of zero. So since we need to show this f of n plus one minus f of n is a constant, right? So we can rewrite this. If you rewrite this, then f of n plus 1 minus f of n. This needs to be just equal to f of 2 minus f of 0 over now 2. So the right hand side, f of 2 minus f of 0 over 2, this has to be the constant, right? So that's why we just proved that your f of x is a linear function. So that means we can write your f of x as in this slope intercept form, right? Okay, now we need to focus on this e equation and star, right? And then for the case when your f of b is equal to zero, we already talked about it. So for now, we need to talk about when your f of b is not equal to zero, right? So in that case, your f of now zero has to be simply the y-intercept. 
which is in our case, it has to be the value of now than C, right? Okay. So that is why now your equation of star. Equation of star is now going to be looking like f of now zero, right? f of zero plus then two x. f of zero plus two x has to be equal to then f of just the x. Okay, so that is why your f of x has to be equal to two x plus f of now zero. So this is in the form of m x plus c. Okay, so that's why now your f of x is equal to 2x plus the y-intercept c. Then we can talk about f of a plus b, right? f of a plus b has to be now equal to then 2 times a plus b. Okay, that plus c. Then at the same time, we can, we can talk about f of f of a plus b. It is going to be the same thing as 2 times, let me make a bracket. And then we have two parentheses, a plus b plus c, close your bracket, and we need to add the c right next to it. So if you expand this, right, this has to be the same as now 4a plus 4b plus now 3c. And just to get the final answer, we need to think about two more terms, right? One of them is now f of... 2a. f of 2a is equal to now 2 times 2a plus c. That is 4a plus c. One more term to think about, it is now 2 times f of b. 2 times f of b is now 2 times, let me make a bracket, then we have 2b plus c. Okay, so that's why it is just going to be 4b plus 2c. So how about we add these two terms, right? f of 2a plus 2 times f of b, which is exactly what we have on the left-hand side of this equation. So your f of now 2a plus 2 times f of b. Then we can add these terms, right? So it is 4a plus 4b plus now 3c, which is exactly the same as this. So that's why we should have two answers, right? One of them is a trivial one. So two answers, one of them is the trivial one that we just found in the beginning, f of x is now equal to zero. Okay, this is one of them. Second one is your f of x is equal to 2x plus this y-intercept c. In this case, your c has to be an integer. Okay, so that's why we have two answers for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting functional equation from International Math Olympiad. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.